Hello and welcome to Geeker Play Studio Tutorials. So in this tutorial, I want to load an image and painting over with strokes over image by using Flame Painter Pro. So let's try to do this. First, what I want to do is load it my reference image. And I can do this by clicking on Import or Control Shift O. Okay, after you select your image, it will appear in your um, layout so you can scale to the proper size you want to use and I'm just using maybe around this size let's click OK again this is my reference image uh, resolution 1000 by 1000 I can increase but for the tutorial just leave it right here I probably can zoom in and out to create a closer stroke with a brush as I need it before I actually begin with this I want to go ahead and set my brush as I like it. I will use the flame brush as my basic brush to begin with. Before I do this, I want to create a new layer. For these tutorials, I'm going to create a vector layer so I can modify my brush and see changes. If you don't have it a vector, you can try different, uh, create new layer and use the raster brush with the testing what settings you like it. So right here, I'm starting by creating this follow control line. Here's my basic line. And I want to modify some of the settings. So first, I want to reduce the size, increase pain. Um, maybe, you know, keep it softness around there. And you can modify and see which one is settings will work best for you. Let's bring center away. It's a outside you remember and focus in so we keep it kind of more inside spreading and have this flames going out um chaos it's again as global just increase and maybe just a little bit noise for the local as well i want increase fade so right here ends and beginning will be kind of smoother together the currently mode is lighting you can switch to normal to preview but remember if I create new layer and start painting over this layer in raster, my blending mode between each strokes will apply as a normal, not as the you want it lighting or darken. You can switch after uh, blending mode for all layers, but not for the brush strokes itself. So in this case, I'm going right now select lighting. So it's all what I'm going to use. At this time, I'm going to create new layer of rusting. The reason is why I'm using rusting, not everything in vector, because if you notice right here, we have a vector and I drew once and I start drawing second time. Now what's happened, my vector is disappear and I have another one. So with a raster, I can paint over and I can paint another one on the same level. So let me remove those ones. And let's begin working on this. So right here, um, it's very simple. I'm just going to follow these contours of the outlines. Um, sometimes it's helpful if you just take this image and convert to the high pass. With high pass, you can easily trace them. So let's do this. Um, before draw, notice I have these pixels. And if my brush moving a lot on the beginning, so as my drawing will have it a big start. However, if it's settle and I'm start doing like this they will start with a smaller depend on what line you're going to do you want maybe kind of spin your brush around before you start drawing or let it settle and start drawing this way so right here for example I'm just going to draw lines just around the contours and again if I'm going slow I have a brighter effect and if I'm going faster to creating more points, those points will create a little bit slower, a little bit more fading. Okay, so we'll go right here, create it. Like I'll say right here, for example, I can spin and start creating this backdrop. You can see kind of like flaming effect. Okay, we'll go create right here. In this brush currently, I actually cannot release. I need to hold a little bit so they calm down because if I move my brush away fast, it's still continuing going. 
In this case, you can use your artistic freedom to create as image or as you want it. So, for example, we can add some of this lighting go right here on his arm. But overall, keep it kind of intact of his effect. So right here, let's take his hair kind of more, add a flame effect. Okay, because it's action going from this point, I probably want to create a small lines up front and spread them on the back. So it's almost give me this effect. So if there is a way, I need to wait till it's come down and start drawing lines around here. Okay, there you go, and leather line. So like right there. Okay, and you can kind of just create it almost like with a Okay, let's go right here. We'll just create it lines. And of course it's take a little bit more practice to do all this in a way you want it. So just if you again try again, if it doesn't work. You raise, remember you have it undo, redo. So you can use it those ones as well. And we can just add kind of flame going right there. Of course, if we even at this point, if we just take and disable, you can see we have an interesting painting of the jumping guy with flames. Of course, we need to add more details to the face, but you're getting um, kind of point how you can create additional effect on the person. Remember, if you don't want it, um, add some other, you can create a new layers. You can create layers as many as you want it, and maybe just add more um, strokes like where's the hair going. Now let's add some right here, add to the arms, kind of pointing right here. Let's make smaller of them. Okay, almost like a hair. Okay, we can also add a little bit more details to the arm. And maybe just take a few swaps, go right there, this way. And again, if you don't like it, Control Z will help you with this. And we'll just, there you go. So right here we have our flames applied. We can take this person and modify it, remove him in Photoshop and some add effect and probably it's what I'm going to do just go in Photoshop just have it some strokes applied on him and using slightly as a backdrop so we'll have it some details but again to do this right here we have our image what we need to do we go need to go save this and we can save this two ways and I'll go to do this save with black background and remember we can save as PNG without just alpha transparency. So let's go ahead and save two images just so we can uh, see which one will work best for us. One with a black background and another one as a PNG. Okay, so we here inside the Photoshop, this is image that I preloaded. And you notice right here we have uh, two artworks. We have it one as the image with a black background and we have it another was as png so for now just let's go take png and i'm click on the layer drag and drop over other other if for some reason right here you notice our scale is wrong let's go to modify the scale and be sure you hold down shift key so you scale properly when you're resizing them 
and we're all right here we're almost done so you don't need to be absolutely same size just as long you remember the contour will go around so it's all what we needed maybe around a little bit right here press enter and right here we have our outline so this is how I look with back background again I don't want to use this image I want to actually preserve have it almost like a flame but I want to add small details on the face textures maybe around here to do this I'm going to use this image um, and convert this more to the effect of the flame so for now let's just duplicate again it's rasterized it doesn't use a smart object at the time so I'll use it as a rasterize at this point um, just duplicate and preserve it in case we need to reuse or something back and I'm going to switch this to the actually hard line mode so you can see right here we have already this kind of nice hard effect the next let's convert this to um, high pass high pass give it us interesting effect again right here you can see preview before and with high pass so we can apply it however some maybe work very well without but I think with high pass we can add and you can play a little bit with the settings see which one will bring more interesting effect I think this one about 15 maybe nine about this one will work good so we'll click OK the next what I want to do it's a convert it's to black and white and colorize colorize after um, before I do this let's press Control L so we access the levels and I want to just take a little bit of these levels and compress them so just kind of reduce some whites and blacks okay, let's click OK next we're going to and it's already you can see look very interesting we can use it um, adjustment and we can go to directly hue and saturation and using colorizer straight from here with reduce some lighting and mostly I don't look on this one I probably reduce but just right around this area or if you want to disable details you can go directly in adjustments go to the uh, black and white and first work with black and white to add a little bit more for example highlights on the yellows and other areas and using colorizer afterwards so it's up to you um, let's just copy this before we do use any colorizer and we go to image adjustment black and white and how I said before I just want to see yellows just bring a little bit okay this way next we go image adjustment hue saturation and enable colorization right here so right now I want to take lightness and bring down so just right a little bit on the faces and we can look on saturation maybe around right here click OK for this layer let's create mask and as a mask I don't want some of this area so we'll go to have it black 10 opacity so just enable on my mask and just example right here if we click on a mask you can see I'm just start kind of reducing some details with the feet okay, keep it right here on the face let's zoom in and maybe just slightly so you can apply it we can always bring one more layer under this if you think you're losing details because we save it and you can blend with these layers if you need bring more details like on skin tone or example just overall but even right here so far you can see we have nice interesting image of the person we're creating with the flames applied with some textures going over again if you don't want it you can go straight forward or otherwise and if you don't use it you can if you just have a black one say we take this layer okay let's go to just copy that layer we'll take it same things you can apply over only in this case you can use it soft lights actually screen will work for that one so you can use it screen mode which is work similar to um, 
transparency. So it just how I say it depends which one you like to use. Okay. So let's go right here. Okay, so we have it. This mode, or we can have it the other mode. Um, you can always add a little bit blur to this. So we can have it filter, blur, just about vision blur. Okay, let's go to um, can go screen. So you can see it's add some little bit effect to this. And you know what, as we playing around with this, let's go create new layer. Okay, I'll say it just as simple as what it can do. Okay, okay on this layer, let's go fill this layer with uh, actually black color. And we'll set this layer to the screen. Okay, as well, you know, till we do this, let me create a reference. And I just press Control Shift Alt E to combine all layers together. And I need this reference because if I want to add some lens flare, for example, we go to Red Giant No Factory. Okay, I want to go right here and set my reference image. Also, let me go resize this so it won't be that big. And by the way, if you're interested in these tutorials on the lens flare, you can watch them for free at Geek at Play website as well. So we can just kind of add a little bit more effect, more flare to the... Right here actually, where's my four star? Okay, I'm just looking for the right one. Okay, I think this one may work. Better, so we can go right here. Let's create smaller size. Just kind of add some sparks to those hot places. Okay, I'll click OK. And we can again duplicate this layer if you want it. Take it, place it maybe in another areas. We can um, as well scale down a little bit. Okay. And just add small effects okay let me actually create way smaller for this one so we don't overwhelm and again i'm using control j to um kind of create them okay right here we can take a bigger one and add it right there Kind of add some effect overall you can see right here it's what we created with the painter pro you can add more effects and how so you can keep on going add more details but overall here's techniques and hopefully they will inspire to create some interesting images in um, the flame painter pro and thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio